There's been a whole shift in the world of, of computer science. If you don't embrace the new possibilities, then someone else will. It's the nature of being in a technology organisation that you, you need to reinvent yourself every few years, otherwise someone else will. So with AWS, Just Giving has been able to stay at that forefront of innovation. And since 2001, we've been innovating on behalf of Good Causes. I'm Richard Atkinson, I'm the Chief Information Officer of Just Giving. Just Giving is the world's largest fundraising platform. Since we were launched in 2001, we've had 23 million users donate more than 3.3 billion US dollars to charities, and they're from 164 countries. We have a British heritage, but increasingly we're growing internationally. We have 180 people in an office in London, but we also have presence on the ground in Australia, the Middle East, South Africa, uh, Ireland and Canada. We had a typical co-located data center environment. And um, to scale that out, would have been very capital intensive. When you look at concepts such as no makeup selfie or ice bucket challenge, the, these things come from nowhere. You know, they're truly social phenomenon. They're extremely viral. Uh, and because there's been no central coordinated planning, we get hit with those traffic spikes. So to size up for that level of, for those spikes would have been impractical. So we, we wanted to find a cloud services company that we could bring into that trust network. And AWS are really the only player in town for that. The main benefits that Just Giving were looking for from AWS was where could we host all of our services? And the key requirements in there were availability, performance, and scale. But for us, it's not just um, the ability to scale up and then scale down, it's the speed with which you scale, because the nature of fundraising these days means that things come at us extremely quickly. One of the benefits of AWS is how the costs are mapped to your operational cycle, and, and more importantly, how they're linked to the creation of value. So previously, where we had a lot of capital tied up in physical hardware, you'd spend that money and, and that asset is sat there until it's used, but most of the time it's been used at very low utilization rate. Whereas now, particularly with analytics, it's only when the data is producing insights and adding value to our customers that it's costing us money. And that's, that's a very powerful thing. And we're using Kinesis to stream that through into S3 storage. We're using Amazon Redshift as our um, cloud data warehouse in order to create visualizations off that. And all of that is feeding back into our product in real time. So it's very fine-grained data, it's very fast-paced data, and it's supporting decisions in real time around all of those users that are visiting Just Giving. Just giving in 2014, there wasn't a single minute where a donation was not made. So being available 100% of the time is very important to us and the 20,000 courses that have entrusted us with their fundraising. In the past, Just Giving was only able to base its decisions on very coarse-grained data points. So things like a, a transaction through Just Giving. But with AWS, we're able to go to finer-grained data points. So uh, where we would have millions of donations a year, that's from billions of visits. So now we can use every one of those billion data points to do something.